Minor. What's up, y'all? Trying to prop y'all up. Hey, fam. What's up, y'all? Happy Juneteenth, happy Juneteenth. That's, you know, I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating. What's up, y'all? Um, anyway, I thought I'd seen somebody I know. Y'all, I'm at the grocery store. What am I doing here? We'll we talk about it. But anyway, happy Juneteenth to everybody. What's up, Fit Fam? What's up, my Fit friends? I miss y'all. <sighs> Man, today is Juneteenth. Seriously, happy Juneteenth. Sometimes I wonder if we're celebrating too soon. But you know what? The chains are free. The chains are off. And if they not off, you know, whatever you're doing in your life and you still feel bound to some chains, if it is in your control, do whatever you need to do to release them chains up off of you. Have them chains fall, off, fall up off of you, right? Break every chain, y'all break every chain don't wait for somebody else to do it my bad don't wait for somebody else to do it you know the white man this, this, this you know sometimes it applies and sometimes it's us so break every chain if you need to so that you can do whatever it is you got to do but happy juneteenth y'all i love my people yes i'll let y'all see a close up let's see uh oh, did I freeze it? My phone been acting crazy. I think it's too hot. Yes, y'all. Get into it. Is my phone dirty? <sighs> Let's see. It's so hot out here today. It's like 95 degrees. It's too hot to start the barbecue grill. I don't know. My baby just sent me a picture. Her and her soon to be fiance is out celebrating this day. They sent me a picture. They went to a, a vegan restaurant in New York. And um, what did she have? It looked like chicken, but it was a, a cauliflower steak. So it looked just like a chicken breast or something. Yeah, but anyway, y'all, this is gonna be another confession. If, you, if you've been following me the last couple days, the last few years, I've been struggling with sugar and y'all know about it, right? But anyway, I'm getting ready to go into the store because I am having a strong craving. I hope y'all ain't see all my junk in my front seat. <laughs> But I'm having a strong craving for cherry Coke. Like, I'm trying to figure out why these cravings is coming so strong. Is it because, uh, I don't know. Is it because I'm really, truly about to let all this stuff go? And my body know it? What? How did I change the radio station? Anyway, I'm about to go into this store and buy me a cherry Coke. I don't know what's happening, but y'all, I'm confessing again today. It's not cute. I'm not doing this for fun. Like I be telling everybody, I'm not doing this for show. I'm not talking about it because it's funny and it's something to talk about. This is a real struggle for me, right? So pray for me if you can. Nah. Hmm? I don't know what that means. Yo, name a car for an edit. I don't even know what you're talking about. <clears throat> but anyway, um, name the type of car I'm in, the type of truck I'm in? No, we ain't gonna do that. For what? Who are you, sir? Anyway. <sighs> um, no, but if y'all can, 
and I said that. I said I had to stop asking people to pray for me because I don't know what y'all believe in. Um, no, everything is not good with me. Um, it is. I'm just struggling with sugar right now. I'm struggling with sugar. I'm really trying to get sugar up out of my life. You know, I don't have any um, preconditions that's telling me to stop eating the sugar, but I know the sugar is the enemy, right? So I'm just really trying to get sugar out of my life. And everybody that's been rocking with me for a while, y'all know sugar is my kryptonite, and I'm really trying to let it go. But I'm about to go into the store real quick and buy me a, um, a pop. Yeah, I'm about to get me a, a cherry coke. I don't know. I need help. And also, hey, hey, y'all from Palestine. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't. I'm that guy. I don't know what you're talking about, honey. I don't know what you what you're talking about. Name the car name any car for what anyway i don't know what you're talking about i'm not even gonna go there but yeah this is another confession i am confessing that right now june 19th i'm getting ready to go into the store and get me some pop um i don't know hopefully this will be the last time that i eat some sweets but i really don't know if i am or not Y'all give me a second. This phone is about to get hot in this car. Okay, what y'all doing today? How are y'all celebrating Juneteenth today? Hey, hey, hey. What's up, y'all? What's up? Y'all celebrating today? Are y'all eating any sweets today? Am I the only one struggling with this sweet addiction? Are y'all sweetaholics, sugarholics, just like me? If so, what what do you do? I know, you know what, because I am a health coach, so I know some tricks, but they're not working for me. I I don't know. It's a stronghold. It is a stronghold right now, and I'm just, I'm battling it. We look alike. Hey, Lola, I'm going to have to look you up, girl. Hey. Hey, twin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, take a chill pill. Girl, a chill pill ain't gonna work for me. A, t a chill pill ain't gonna work for me. I'm gonna have to do something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something. I just want sweets. I want it so bad. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in here and get me some. Um, yesterday I had the M&Ms that I had showed y'all, and I ate them. I sure did. And it was good. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to go in here and get this sugar. And it's funny because my name, for those that, you know, are new to my channel or whatever, I go by Sugar Fit because um, when my husband and I were together, we had this channel and it was all about getting fit together. So my sugar, sugar is like mwah, a kiss, it, you know. Sugar, that type of sugar like your daddy would say give me some sugar girl that type of sugar not the sugar that i'm fighting against so ironically that's my my biggest stronghold is sugar but my channel is sugar sugar fit yeah and what it means is whoever your accountability partner is whoever your sugar is and y'all get down together y'all work out together lose weight together and try to you know do this wellness thing together that's your sugar right and so my channel was you know it's a uh, channel all about building a culture of accountability working out together getting fit together getting healthy healthy together you know in that scheme of things so that's where the channel name originated from for those that don't know <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about lola but it's cool you probably talking about this dude i'm trying to block his butt y'all get off of here with that we talking about fitness we talking about sugar addictions and all that other kind of stuff on this channel and i work out let's see anyway i'm back to the regular program 
I'm getting ready to go in here and um, I just wanted to be accountable, you know. Um, I want to put my shame out on here. So if I get tired of seeing it or get tired of seeing me talk about it so much, then maybe I'll stop, you know. I do help people with a lot of issues, you know, like reversing diabetes and all of this other kind of stuff. Whatever your issue is, I can help you health-wise. But when it comes to me, but when it comes to me, it's uh, it's that sugar. It's that sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and, and keep putting my little confessions on here. Every time I feel like I want something sweet, I'm going to put a confession down. Yeah. And for those that, you know, maybe going through it with, with me, maybe we can, you know, we can do this together. You know, we can be accountable to one another to get off of these sweets because the sugar ain't nothing but, it's more than the enemy. The sugar is the poison. It's poison to our body and we don't need it. And all disease feed off of sugar. And I know that. And I'm about to go into this store and get me some sugar. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Brittany Blessings. Hey, girl. Blessings to you too. But anyway, um, I pray y'all get to celebrate today and, um, you know, think about our ancestors and everybody that we stand on the shoulders of, um, you know, just have a moment to give them thanks for, for the, the fight, you know, that we still fighting today, pretty much. Um, but then for the, the uh, victories that they're fought have um allowed us awarded us yes yeah, so i'm grateful today i'm thankful today anyway i'll be shy on these things that's why i don't like talking on here but anyway i'm going in this store and get me some some pop let me see um yeah my baby I don't know if she just hopped on or what. But her birthday, she just celebrated her birthday. She turned 29. So I just want to publicly announce her birthday and publicly say I love you, baby. And um, happy birthday again. Happy birthday again. They're getting ready to see uh, Music Soul Child. He is performing today. So they about to go on and watch him on this wonderful day. But anyway, y'all, uh, I'm about to go in the store. So I confessed, I'm going to give me some more sugar. Today is the um, 19th of June and I'm going to get some more sugar. I don't say it like, yeah, I'm getting it. I say it with a little shame to it, but and, you know, unapologetically at the same time. I'm gonna go get some sugar and I pray that I, you know, don't want any more after this. Anyway, I'm trying to talk myself out of it. <laughs> if you see me hesitating, I'm trying to talk myself out of it. But it's good that I only want pop because, oof, oof. You know what I wanted to do? I said, this is what I did one year. One year, I was like, every sweet, and me and my mom do the same thing. We go back and forth with this. Whatever sweets we gonna eat, turn off this car. And I know it's about to get loud. But we used to be like, whatever, whatever sweets we gonna eat, we have to bake it, right? We have to bake whatever sweets we're gonna eat. And so I was looking around the house last night. I was like, I want some shortbread cookies. I want some shortbread cookies so bad. I made some one year. Y'all look it up. Um, I don't even know if I'm on YouTube or Facebook. Yeah, I'm on YouTube right now. Look it up in my um, my chef videos. I think it's in there. Anyway, those are my favorite cookies. The shortbread cookies. I wanted to make some. And I was looking around the house. I was like, oh, I got the ingredients. It's only three ingredients, y'all. Quit playing. So I was like, oh, I should just make me a little small batch, right? And I like to make the, um, the square, like the pie ones. They call that the... Um, petticoat i like to make the petticoat cookies because they deeper they wider and then you just get more and I, I like the shape right so i was like oh i should just make like a few i was too lazy i was like i'm not gonna make any so guess what it stopped me from eating more because i did eat those m ms i ate the m ms like three different times or whatever and i was like let me go ahead and not make the petticoat and let me just go to sleep and that's what I did last night. I drank me some water. I took some um, activated charcoal. And then, um, what else did I take? 
um, apple cider vinegar. But you know what? I need to, while I'm in this store, I need to get me some celery so I can juice celery. Because when you juice the celery and you drink that thing, it cuts the sugar, your crave for sugar. It does for me. And a lot of people that I know, uh, it cuts that sugar crave. And I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I don't want that sugar crave to be stopped. I don't want to crush my crave, right? <laughs> I want to get it in. So sometimes I'll be like, I'm not drinking that celery juice. But I think I'm gonna get the celery juice today because although I am going in this store to get a uh, cherry Coke, I do want to stop eating sweets. And, and you know what? I could be getting a whole lot of stuff out this store. Yeah, I sure could because I could go home and bake whatever it is I want to bake, but I'm not. I'm trying to do good, but I'm confessing to y'all, it's hard out here. I don't care how much you know, it is hard. And it's like for me, once I get a little bit of taste of a little bit of sugar, mm -mm. no, nope, I do all the tricks. You know how you brush your teeth after you eat, you rinse your mouth out after you eat the sugar to get it up off your tongue because your taste buds is still eating. <laughs> and still craving it no you wash your, your um, teeth you brush your teeth and, and rinse off your tongue and it helps you know but for me i don't know um it's hard y'all what y'all talking about anyway i think my phone my phone is about to go out because it's so hot anyway that's my confession. <coughs> that is my confession. <sighs> I don't even know what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I think I wanna do some, um, like I said, my daughter had those, um, the chicken, not the chicken, cause she don't eat meat, the um, cauliflower steaks that look just like chicken. It looked like chicken breast or whatever. So, because she showed me that picture, I was like, ooh, girl, that look good. I think I'm going to make me some um, buffalo wings. And then, there it is. Sugar in the, in the sauce. I don't feel like making my own sauce today, so I don't know. This is crazy. I'm just rambling and rambling and rambling and talking to myself. I'm going to go uh, wash my truck real quick while I'm drinking on my pop. That's why I stopped at the store <laughs> to buy me a pop while I wash my truck. Yeah. You got to have something good, something cool to drink on a hot summer day and you washing that car. Shh. You know, you got to have something good and cool to drink. So, and I'm going to get some water too because I like to drink water with it. Anyway, that's my confession. That's my confession. I wish I wasn't so shy. I can really get on here and act a fool and have fun and be laughing and have y'all laughing at me and cracking up, but I'll be a little shy. Anyway, that's that confession space. Holla. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't know there it is <sighs> I don't know if y'all can see what I see <laughs> okay so here's the cherry coke do y'all see that do y'all see that sign a dollar fifty but I have to get three of them see how the enemy will trick you See how the enemy will keep you down. So they telling me I gotta buy three of those, get them at a dollar fifty, or buy one for three fifty. I'm gonna buy one. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, I'm gonna get one, and I'm gonna get the heck up out of here. See, that's all I'm getting. See, y'all don't understand. Let me put y'all somewhere where I can talk to y'all real quick. Can y'all hear me? Y'all know a little nasty right there. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I'm struggling. Seriously, this is a struggle for me. Because now I'm tempted. I'm like...
if I get the three, <laughs> see how the enemy will work you. The enemy will have you just getting a whole bunch. Girl, go on and get that because it's going to be cheap. Go on and get it. It's going to be cheaper because if you buy it again tomorrow or whenever this dog on sale go off, you're going to wish you would have bought more. So go ahead and buy more. And when you buy more, you're going to drink more, right? That's what the enemy is saying. You want to go pass? Oh. oh, okay. You're welcome. Now, that's the enemy tricking you. So I'm going to buy one. I'm going to be good and only get one. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the celery. Yeah. I'm going to go on and get up out of here. See, I'm only buying one. I'm going to be good. It's not being good because I'm only supposed to get one. Oh, I like your perfume. Oh, you like my perfume? Thank you. It smells nice. Thank you. I um, mixed it. It's two different oils. I forgot what I used. Nice. But thank you. Yeah. Nice for a day like today. Right on right. this hot day. Yes. And happy Juneteenth. You too, Thank you. All right, y'all. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get the celery, as promised. I'm going to get the celery so I can go ahead and um, drink some of that. I'm going to juice it. Wait, where am I going? This store. I don't know this store. They changed it up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the celery. Girl, what? The celery over here. You see, you got that pop on your mind. Sugar holly. Not a good thing. It's not a good look. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get the celery so that I can. Let's see if I can sit y'all in my purse. I like my perfume too. This um, I can't remember. Let me see. Prop y'all up. I put um two different oils on, and I forgot which ones it is. If y'all can play nice right there. But I'm going to go ahead and get the um, celery so that I can juice it. So that I can get the sweetness out of my body. And I am, what's the day? I'm going to do a two-day fast. I may do a three-day fast because that works too. When I'm fast, when I do a water fast, like a 72-hour water fast, I feel like cookie, cookie wear. Donuts and cakes and wear. And they on sale. <laughs> but yep, yeah, I can make my own. <laughs> Y'all know my favorite cake is the uh, German chocolate, right? Huh? Not theirs. I just messed that up. Oh well, my apologies. I hope whoever did it still enjoy it. But yeah, my one of my favorite cakes is the German chocolate cake. And I can buy all the ingredients right now and make it. But I'm not. I'm not. You see how the enemy doing? He ain't right. But that's okay. I just laugh at him. Let me get the celery. I'm going to be good, y'all. Get up out of here. My phone battery is about to go out. So. Oh, they got the blackberries on sale still. I have like six of them at home. I eat a whole carton at one time. But they're not organic, so I try not to like them in the But anyway, like I said, my battery is about to go out. Papaya. That's the best, funkiest fruit ever. But, um, oh, I'm about to cry. I just had a moment. Okay, so I'm at my old house. I remember years ago coming to this Jewels. Yes, I'm in Jewels. Coming to the same Jewels and recording for my grandmother. Look, and I did a whole span and I talked about all the new fruits and vegetables that they had, you know, because she hadn't really went to a store in a long time. And um, I was just trying to show her all the, you know, the beautiful fruit and exotic veggies and fruits that they have now. That just hit. I'm sweating. Yes, it's hot outside and I'm not about to wipe my sweat. Well, I guess I'm a dad. But, <laughs> but you know, that just made me think of the video I made for her so that she can see here. All the beautiful fruit. And I used to buy her a lot of food. My mom did. You know, and she would try it. You know what she did not like? I had her try the um, dragon fruit. 
Uh-uh, Grandma didn't like that thing. Mm-hmm. Grandma did not like the dragon Look at this abundance of fruit. Yes, it costs a lot. Yes, you can grow your own. Yes, I do that as well. I love to um, grow my own food because growing your own food is like making your own money. But guess what? When you don't have the space or the time or the know-how to grow your own fruit. It's here. Right here. Don't get I have a lot of fruit at home, so I'm just gonna come in here and get the celery real quick. That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna let y'all go so I can get my celery. Hey. <laughs> wow. That first person that commented, my first name is almost just like yours. Yeah, I just got choked up a little bit thinking about my grandma. And I call her Grandma Grandma. <laughs> yeah, she had a lot of names, but I call her Grandma Grandma. And um, I remember being in this store in my old neighborhood recording for her to see all of this fruit and veggies. Yeah, beautiful when you just, you know, look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah, you make me not want no dead pop, right? <laughs> Live living food in you. Oh wow, they 39 cent each. I need to put this camera down so I can shop. I'm gonna get some mangoes because I don't have any other mango. And they 39 cent each. That's not bad. I was gonna make a cream sickle uh, last week and I had ran out of mangoes. Maybe I'll make that for you all. A cream sickle with mango. Okay, I'll let y'all go. Um, yeah, this is still part three. No, I mean, what is it? Part two of my profession. I'm going to get what profession I'm on. I think I'm on the third profession. This is part two of it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make some mango, the um, cream sickle. Here's the celery. They probably don't have the organic. Let's just see. Nope, they don't have any organic celery. I am not surprised. I'm supposed to be going to the car wash. Why am I doing all this right now? Well, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get it since I'm over this way. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all go. Thanks for chiming in. Hey, everybody, I see y'all. Hey, Kaden. All right, I'll talk to y'all. Here's my confession. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, I'm not gonna lie. That's what she doing. All right, y'all enjoy the holiday. All right. What's up, y'all? Okay, so if you watched my live, <laughs> y'all know what I did. I'm about to show y'all what I end up getting from the store. But if you watch, but if you watched my live a few minutes ago, uh, y'all know, <laughs> y'all already know the struggle, but let me, let me tell you what I ended up getting. So I got the pop, right? I got the Coke. Not only did I get the Coke, yo, I got the cake. I got the cake too. Don't ask me. Don't, don't, don't even ask me why. Uh I did what I did. I'm not even going to front. Um, I'm about to go eat the rest of it now. Mm -hmm. This is still day three's confession on Juneteenth. Uh, y'all, but I had grounded today. I had a beautiful day. I did some, some things that y'all will hear about later, probably. But I grounded today. I was... Um, you know spending time with my ancestors and just loving on them and afterwards i just felt like drinking some pop <laughs> i wanted something sweet after i celebrated them yes let's see if y'all can see it better like this 
But after I celebrated them, I wanted something sweet. So that's what I did and that's what I got. Yep. Anyway. <sighs> Accountability. Yep. She did it. She got some cake. And she drank some pop. Mm -hmm. Now I'm about to go and drink some more pop. I don't know, y'all. Ooh, I need to put this down for a second. Hold on. But that's what I'm doing. That's what I did. And I hope I get better later. Hopefully tomorrow it won't be no confessions. But right now, this is my confession. <sighs> the sugar. <sighs> but... I got my celery. So I'm getting ready to juice my celery and I'll let y'all know if that works. Okay. Yeah. Celery juice, apple cider vinegar, vinegar, fennel seeds, um, a whole bunch of uh, apples, not apple cider vinegar, black activated charcoal helps too. Um, what else? A lot of stuff. I, I just can't think right now, but anyway, as I try different things, I'll let y'all know what works. Okay. Space. Happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth.